I honestly think these words, I don't care, I don't care, and that attitude should not be a part of a Christian's vocabulary. Stop saying that. <laughs> Stop saying that, brothers and sisters. If you don't like something or you're doing something and you put this up front, like, hey, listen, I'm gonna do this and I really don't give a rip what you think about me. No, honestly, you should. I'm not saying that we should live with fear, people pleasing and, and all that kind of stuff, but you should care enough to not be rude and disrespectful and then justifying that by saying, you know, Christians, you just only need to care about what God thinks about you and says to you and how he sees you. It just sounds ridiculous. I mean, it's such an oxymoron. Does that mean that we pick and choose who we love, who we show compassion to, who we honor? I mean, what does honor have to do with what someone does or doesn't do anyway? See, if you don't understand that, you really don't get what honor is. And it is a very important thing to God. And people will use all these excuses and justify their actions by bringing God into it and saying, well, God told me to and God said, did he really? If God says on the one hand, no, love and show compassion and honor people, but then God say something totally different to somebody else he's like now nah, you don't need to do that to towards this person this person is a mm, to forget him well then god sounds like a really confused god but he's not people they want to serve god right and as i just said they don't want to show compassion they don't want to love people they will pick and choose who they want to love and when they want to love them there is such a thing as having all the knowledge but having no love and that kind of knowledge will only puff you up and not edify your listeners. I can have all the knowledge and I know a lot of things about God and, and, and I think I have a solid relationship with him. So now I'm going out and preaching at people and doing all these things. But if I don't love them, that will not truly edify them. Okay, so all you are doing is being a clanging cymbal and a resounding gong. Oh my goodness, like if I ever post a video here, for example, saying things like well this is what i believe about it and i don't give a rip about what you think about it and i'm just going to post it because god told me to and i have that kind of an attitude please don't watch my videos <laughs> i think when you do things especially on social media believers need to understand that you are accountable to god okay, we are here to serve if you are making christian themed videos and sharing the word of god then then realize that you are truly serving god and serving people right right I mean, why else are you doing this? Then don't forget accountability. You cannot just do whatever you want, however way you want to. It must happen God's way because you are a representative of Jesus Christ. You are an ambassador of Christ. So you, no, you cannot just be whatever way you want to be. You know, learn the character of God, learn his ways. Knowledge puffs up, but it's love that edifies. Even when we're correcting somebody, we never condemn people. Even if they're in the wrong, we never condemn people. Listen, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Come on. So if we're here on this platform or any other social media platform or or even in our in our day-to-day -day lives, in our interactions with people, remember that our actions, our words must always edify the other person never put them down so even if we're correcting someone right remember jesus even said to the ones who came to him and said oh um do you not remember me jesus i did this for you i did that for you i prophesied i did all these miracles in your name it was amazing and jesus was like yeah no i don't know you i don't know you like that so what was he talking about in all your gathering of knowledge remember you must know god does god know you like that and do you know god intimately right that's what really matters because if you really know god you would never behave in such an arrogant way you would never dishonor people you would never walk dishonestly lacking integrity with people you wouldn't do that and then god would look at you going yeah i know you i know you we know each other you know what i mean like that's that let that be our our goal, our desire.